I think the weirdness of it will make people talk and say, but how did then, what do you think, and how did they... I, I think it will be one of those, that it won't just be thrills and spills, that it will be something that people go away and feel disturbed by. Because it's got all levels of creepiness, hasn't it? I mean, there's the violent stuff, and there's the... Is the doll or is it not actually moving? And and then how did these parents come up with this? All of that, it's, it's different sorts of bizarre. A young American girl with a troubled past answers um, an advert to come to England to look after a small eight-year-old boy um, as his nanny while his parents allegedly go on holiday. And when she gets there, the parents are not exactly what she was perhaps expecting. The house is, of course, creepy. And uh, the child is not a child, but a doll. If you discover that your child had done something heinous, as indeed it turns out Brahms has, I suppose as a parent your instinct would be to protect, to, to excuse, but they've taken it very, very far. I think they have gone to some lengths to prevent him from doing any more damage, uh, and I think they've gone mad in that process. Obviously, if you knew that there were people who lived in a house and they had a doll who they pretended was their son, Gosh, it would keep people away, which means that there wouldn't be too much talk. So we talked about all of those things, mm -hmm. but we decided that it had emerged out of grief, which in turn, in trying to make all of that normal, which they do, they talk to the dollars if it's real, um, they have become insane.